Stop. And go. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the one coaching cue that really helped me unlock my tackling game. All of a sudden, I could be more confident and I made way more tackles. I'll tell you that key in this video. And, and. Hi, my name is Peter Breen, founder of Rugby Bricks, and today we are talking all things tackling. So you've clicked on this video because you want to learn a little bit more about tackle technique, how to get more confidence when it comes to tackling, or maybe how to coach someone to tackle. In this video, I'm going to show you three different drills that will really help you improve your tackling game, and you can use them straight away today. Let's get straight into the first video. So there's so many different things to think about when tackling. In this very first drill, all we're talking about is M shoulder integrity, just making sure that this stays in a really strong position. As we get lower and we teach players to get lower and lower, sometimes the shoulder can roll over and become really weak. Think about when you're on a bench press, you want to be nice and strong through that shoulder joint, no matter what height you're making a tackle. So on these three reps, on each shoulder, we just want to focus whatever heights you met even gets to, is that she's just keeping that shoulder integrity and keeping that strength. And, 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 there are so many different factors when it comes to tackling. Think about all the different scenarios and situations that you'll find yourself in, different players, heights, weights, sizes, the, the position that you're at on the field. There's so many different aspects. So that's why we have to be able to cover different things like your positioning, your target area, your footwork, the contact zone all those things, and we discussed this in a blog on the Rugby Rex website, I'll put the link up above. If you're someone that really enjoys reading content and understanding all the different points, I'd highly recommend reading this blog. The second drill we're about to get into, this is the key, this was the game changer for me and the one that really changed things for how I thought about tackling. So the coach told me there's two styles of tackle, there's a fetch tackle, where you're going to fetch and go get the player, just like a dog fetching a ball, and then there's a stop tackle, where we're stopping momentum. Now those are two very different things. Thinking about getting off the line, going and finding a player, really going and making a fetch tackle, or man, you've got to man up, you've got to stand your ground, hold your ground, you've got to stop momentum when a big ball carrier is coming at you. So knowing which situation you were, you're in can actually really help you execute both of those tackles. When I'm going to make a fetch tackle, I've already made 10 metres of space. Do I need to put a big shot in over the advantage line when I'm fetching? No, you just need to make the tackle and get them to ground. The alternative is, is when I really need to stop momentum, I'm on my own goal line, they score a try because if I don't stop momentum, that's a different style of tackling that I really need to get my body weight and things right to stop momentum. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to practice both fetch and stop. In this next drill, we're gonna cover off two styles of tackle that I think are really important to cover and just understand the different mindset behind each. On the first tackle we're gonna make, it's all about stopping momentum. So we've got a big ball carrier, they're coming at the line, they're close to the advantage line. I really need to get set and stop all their momentum. The next tackle is going to be a fetch tackle. This here is a stop tackle, we're stopping momentum. The next one we're going to talk about is actually getting past this player and going and fetching an attacking player. Here's the coach, if I say stop tackle, I want to hit this pad. The next one's the fetch, so I actually want to get around this pad as if it's a blocker and get to this back lower tackle pad. On this one I've already made all the space, I'm over the gain line and I just really need to make a tackle. It doesn't have to be big momentum stopping, so I just need to get nice and low, make a leg tackle, make my tackle on the Gilbert tackle pad and go I'll try and meet there stop and go as we know so much of sport is all about your mindset so here's some things to consider as you go down this road of improving your tackling practice that sounds really simple, but think about what we do in a week. We do our gym sessions, we do our conditioning, we do our ball work, our team runs, our strike moves. All those different things happen in the week practice. But are we actually practicing tackling two, three, four times a week? If this is a work on for me, if this is something that I really want to nail this season and get right, I've got to be tackling at least three or four times a week. Now these don't have to be 100% smashing each other and going hard. These can be flow sessions and timing and working on footwork and shoulder contact and positioning, different styles of tackling that you can work on pre and post trainings or even in your gym sessions. So make sure that you're doing enough practice in your week to actually improve. Watch and learn. You've got to be watching games, you've got to be watching really good tacklers and mimicking how they do things. I think in any sport, when you copy and paste other people's techniques, you can understand why they're successful, why they're so good at what they do, and tackling's no different. Identify a player that is a really good tackler, 
watch them a lot and try mimic what they do. Focus on the fundamentals. You're not gonna go out there and put five massive shots on in your very first game after watching this video. If you do focus on the fundamentals, you'll feel yourself get better at footwork, shoulder contact, getting closer, being more confident in different tackle situations. So just focus on the fundamentals. Number four, and one of the hardest things to do and put yourself out there is seek feedback. Ask for help, get people to watch you do drills and ask for feedback and not take it so critically. They're just trying to help you. So when they're pointing out something, don't take it personally. Take it is okay they're just trying to help me grow get better at my tackling game so seek feedback the third video is all about getting your momentum in front of the attacker and i love doing this drill because quite often when we need to get confidence and actually feel a big impact through our shoulder this drill can really help encourage that feeling of putting a really good shot on. So this drill is a really good one about getting that lead lead nice and close to the attacker that we want to make a tackle. I'm going to start on this side of the poles as we meet in the middle. This plane of glass here, I want to break that with my leg, get that foot nice and close, get into a strong position, and then make my tackle on the bad. It's really going to encourage our players to get close, get across this midline, and make a strong tackle. Two, one, and go. Great shot. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this tackle video. If you do have any questions, please put your question below. I'm sure it'll help yourself, but also another player maybe thinking the same thing that we can talk about in the comment section. Also like and subscribe to the Rugby Bricks YouTube channel. I love YouTube because it's all about how to do. So how to do things better, how to grow your rugby game, whether it comes to kicking, tackling, passing, all the different technique and skill things that we have in our beautiful game of rugby union. Lastly, I did mention earlier on in this video that we do have an awesome blog post about how to tackle. The link is above and also down below. If you are someone that enjoys reading content and seeing the detail in front of you on screen, I'd love you to check out that blog. Right, that's it. Now get out there, outwork and outlearn people. That's the Rugby Bricks way. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. One and go. Great shot. <laughs>